already. <laughs> it's come around already. So it's Monday and the 5th of July, goodness, already in Australia. I know it's still 4th of July to all our American and angel community. So happy 4th of July to you and in, in England as well. Well, just, just. So I've got a couple of cards to pull out for you today and I'm also giving you the reading for the week ahead. I'll pull some cards for you if you have a question to ask of the angels. And I also want to talk to you a little bit about love because that's what the angels are all about. Now, I wasn't going to wear this um, this top this morning. I had another top lined up that I was just wearing this to keep warm. And when I was typing out the message, a reminder that the um, Angel Monday Live was going to be at 11 o'clock and where I wrote love instead. So I took that as a sign from the angels that, um, that I was to keep the jumper on and that was what their messages were going to be about today. So I'm really excited to share this with you. So the question is from your angels, your guardian angels and the Archangel Michael and the other Archangels that are with us today is do you, do you need to love yourself more? Do you feel like there's room for you to love yourself more in your life? And the angels are nodding ferociously and say, yes, yes, there's definitely room for everybody to love themselves more. And the reason that the angels want you to love yourself isn't for vanity or any negative ego-based reason. It's so that you are more receptive and open to their love, to their guidance for you. Because if you don't love yourself, then when the guidance comes to lead you to a situation that's going to improve your life, it's going to make you happier, that's going to bring more abundance to you, to manifest those thing, things that you have dreams about, positive dreams, then you're, not go, you're going to sabotage that. You're not going to be willing to accept it. And you might not even believe it when the guidance comes. You'll block it in some way. Because if deep down you don't feel that you're deserving, then you will push away good things when they come. And don't forget that your angels, what their main purpose of being with you is to remind you of who you really are at a soul level, that you, you are love at your core, you come from source. And they want you to have more love in your life. And I'm not just talking about romantic love, but I'm talking about the energy of love because that heals everything so not only will you push things away that are not on that vibration you know that that are not in that vibration of fear and guilt and and undeservedness but you'll also attract and accept things that are not love in your life and of course this is a a, a lifelong journey in a way because we're always hitting a ceiling of our own beliefs our own expectations our own fears and then when we hit that ceiling we get the awareness to okay i've got a belief or a thought that's holding me back that's holding me out away from love and you change that thought and belief and your angels help you to do that and then you're you you rise up above that self-imposed limiting ceiling so, it, you know, it's easy to demonstrate when you think about things like money or abundance or even your relationships in your life. When you say, okay, where have I been putting up with less than I know I deserve deep down or less than I really want? And just believing that that's all I can have. And that's a sign for you to start to put more love and acceptance in yourself, start to put boundaries around things that, that you don't want and start to ask yourself, where am I acting towards myself in a way that is unloving, that is, that is negative? Let me see who's here. Hi, Alicia. Thank you. I love it too. <laughs> and it happens to go with the, the roses, so I had to bring those with me as well on this call. Hi, Dee. Happy Monday. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Lovely to see you. Hi, Selena. Yes. Yes, there is a, a huge connection between the love of self and the love of, from others. So if, if you don't love yourself fully or there are parts of you that you're not loving, then you're not going to allow other people to, to love you. 
and as I said before, you, you can attract people who are unloving because you're, you're either being inauthentic in that you're not being who you really are because you don't believe you're lovable as you are and you have to change to fit other people's expectations. So that attracts manipulative people. It attracts bullying people. But it can also attract people who are just not on your wavelength. So they they don't really know who you are. So they can't give you that love that you want because they're not your people. So it's all about opening up to more, more love towards yourself and your angels, your guardian angels and those archangels that surround you can definitely help you with that if you set an intention to love yourself more and to weed out those things in your life that are unloving, that don't support you in loving yourself and receiving the abundance. Because we have to work on the, on the knowledge, the assumption that this is a compassionate universe this is everything is stacked in your favor that God and the angels are all about um, bringing you what you what you want and need and in order to do that you, you need to have your heart and mind open you need to be connected to those to that guidance and to have that inner knowing that okay the universe is on my side it isn't against me and that takes time, you know, especially if you've been raised with the belief that everything is stacked against you, that people are out to get you, that there isn't a, a divine force of love that's supporting you. But it's just like everything. And remember last week we spoke about um, you'll see it when you believe it, that what we believe we see more of. So when we believe that it, the world is a harsh place, we see more harshness. But when we believe, okay, there's, there's a, a conspiracy of love. There, is, there are lots of things that are working in my favor. And if I open to them, then I will see more of them. And if I accept them and know that I'm deserving of it, then I will, I will be able to live in that frequency of love instead of being you know, bashed about by the, by the fear of life. Hi, Chandra. Hi, Teresa. Hello to you in Vancouver. And hi, Tarika. So I guess, yeah, it's night time right there in, in Vancouver, right? Yeah. And it'll change again when the seasons change, but <laughs> there's, you know, I figured out that um, no matter what I do, whatever time, there's always going to be somebody in the world that isn't happy about what time I do these things. So we just have to do them. You know, that's all about being, um, that's all about being authentic and aligned with what my body and my, my energy is, is um, works for me. Selena, a good question. What's the difference between ego love and genuine love from others? So ego love is um, is about is about the ego. So the ego is always about I own things, right? It's grasping, it's gripping, it has fear. So the ego comes from fear and limitation. So you know relationships that that say you know uh, that are possessive where there's a lot of jealousy, where there is a sense of um, if you, sh you know, share your love, you know, in a relationship, that if you give your love to your friends, then that person's going to be upset because they feel like they're left out. Whereas, you know, higher self love, true love, divine love is unconditional. It is unlimited. <laughs> there's enough for everyone. All right. So think about the, the, the fear is what triggers people to be i mean i've had um relationships in my life where you know it's all been all about jealousy and possessiveness and anger and, and things like that and, and that's because the person deep down is insecure frightened and doesn't know about unconditional love but that's not any of my business so i just have to get away from people like that you know so that i can live my life how i want to live it but you those it, it's the fear and we've all felt it too you know a twinge of jealousy or a twinge of um resentment if you know your friends are going out with 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 someone else on saturday night and you've got no one to go out with those kind of feelings so it's the divine love the true love and the love of yourself needs to be unconditional without judgment with without that kind of you're only lovable if you do this. I will only love you if you do that. You know, am I only lovable when I'm 
a teenager and in my 20s where my skin is perfect but I'm not lovable when I when I get older no that's that's not divine love that doesn't come from the angels that's ego that's fear um, but that is a really a really good question and I think Selena to be fair that we're human and we we have this struggle between our ego because we have to live a physical life right so we have to be aware of ourselves as separate and so that struggle of ego of um of feeling unlovable or feeling like sometimes our friends or our loved ones aren't doing the unconditional love to us i think it's us that has to work on that ourselves because we're all human and we have to forgive people for being um in their ego but as i said before you have to have boundaries around it you know there's some things you can you can apply the forgiveness and unconditional love and live in that space with a person and there's sometimes you can't live in that space with a person but only you need to you can decide what that what is right but i think it's wrong to hold people to ransom and say you know if you loved me you would have or you wouldn't have you know because that's ego as well so we're kind of reflecting it back yeah it's a deep subject thanks natty it's a really deep subject but it all starts with loving yourself and that's what the angels say you know if you can love yourself then you will have a a, a boundary of like oh no this doesn't feel good all right i need to love myself by removing myself from this situation or i need to love myself by having a conversation with this person and sorting it out but without the self-love you end up being like a puppet on a string and you get kind of um, pulled from pillar to post trying to get love from people whereas it's unconditional un and unlimited from the divine There's, it's you know it's a huge subject so I'm going to use the cards right now and give us a reading from the angels for the week ahead and we'll talk a little bit more about this subject the angels are really saying today that make sure that you don't only connect to your archangels for help connect to us your guardian angels so your guardian angels are with you 24 7 and have been with you from before you were born and will be with you beyond when you cross over when your time is done on, on this earth and your your guardian angel can teach you the lesson of self-love can help you with that <coughs> excuse me and they are the ones that you can you can talk to about anything that is hurting your heart because really the first step of of loving yourself is clearing out all of that pain right it's releasing the energy of of suffering heartbreak defensiveness fear and those fears and expectations we've built up around what love is hi kyla i love them too when i saw them i had to get them and then and then I realized they matched my new jumper <laughs> and I consider them a gift from the angels to be honest hi Cheryl good morning so ask your guardian angels to help you to lift up your your heart energy and to help you to love yourself more every day especially if you've got something going on that feels unloving and is a struggle for you it's a sign that you need to love yourself more and receive more of that love from the angelic realm which is of course that unconditional non-judgmental you know your angels don't don't um roll their eyes at you <laughs> they don't go oh no you know they just love you unconditionally they know you at a soul level so let's ask archangel michael and the guardian angels to give us a message for the week ahead is what do you most need to know to help you with whatever you're challenged with, whatever you're facing and whatever you are manifesting this week um, and ask them for guidance to show you exactly what you need to know. So thank you, guardian angels of everyone who is gathered and Archangel Michael, thank you for bringing down your shield of protection over everybody here and over this entire session thank you for working through me and with me for the highest good of all and thank you for bringing through the clearest message and please help everybody understand how that message applies to them in their life for the highest good 
and according to divine will, as so it is. Thank you. So the 5th until the 12th of July, what do we most need to know, angels? What guidance do you have? So they're, they're speaking to me very um, loudly right now about pacing yourself and getting rest because you've been processing a lot lately and making sure that you're being protective of your energy and your time and focusing on the things that are important to you. Okay, <laughs> I can see why. I can see why now. So is it any surprise that the first cut out? Oh, there's two. They're stuck together. Right, we better use those. The first card out is an Archangel Ariel card and it's pink. Pink seems to be the theme today. So th what did they say? They were speaking about rest, pacing yourself, protecting your energy. And there is a lot going on, right? There is a lot. In Australia, there's a lot going on. So it is asking you to have balance. So this is Archangel Ariel, who's the angel of connection, clairvoyance, abundance, and really helps you to, to fill up your energy, you know, because those things, abundance is all around the energy of the divine. You know, the more you're open to receive that, the more you're open to receive abundance. And that's the workshop that we're doing on the 23rd of July, Zoom workshop is creating abundance with Ariel. So making sure that you're focusing on the, the projects that are closest to your heart at this time, Making sure that people, your thoughts and situations aren't pushing you over the edge. Really taking care of your stress levels this week. Managing them and not trying to be all things to everybody. The angels are saying, don't worry, you're lovable as you are. You don't have to work hard to prove yourself to everyone. And if something is a problem, just call on us angels and we'll be right with you. We will help you. Okay, isn't that beautiful? Now, the card that was hiding, and this very rarely happens because it's such an old deck of cards for me, they don't often get stuck together, but it's also an Ariel card. And this is the Ten of Ariel. Now, look at the image. It's a, a, a pair of ladies. They're out in Paris. They're, having a, they're outside a cafe. It's a very kind of relaxed scene, and it's about having fun. Now, this is, is telling you to enjoy the moment and be grateful no matter what is going on. Take moments, you know, whether to go and sit outside with, with, um, with a drink or to sit and meditate or admire. It's, it's like stop and smell the roses, would you believe? <laughs> That's really what this message is. And it's asking you to focus on, on what you're grateful for rather than what's, what's stressing you or what isn't there at this moment because they're bringing it in. This is a 10, so it's very much about bringing in more abundance for you. It's talking about success. They're talking about not going the, the beating yourself up, being harsh, working too hard. So very much linked. And these two cards are talking about the theme of the week. Now, who should turn up in our guidance card but Archangel Michael? So straight away, I can feel Archangel Michael's energy come in and he's talking to us about the world energy, just being very conscious of that. He knows that many of you are sensitive, you are empathic, you pick up on the energy, not just of other people that you're in contact with, but also the general um, atmosphere. So this is, this is a sign to call on him for protection, to be aware of those world energies and how they're affecting you. And to just don't be worried about forcing, pushing, making anything happen. The more you sort of sit back with the right mindset and the, and the right intentions and that energy of love, the more things will just happen for you. It's like an energy of flow is coming in. He's also holding his sword and, and, and shield. So remember protection and remember to do some cord cutting around anything or anyone that feels harsh, that you feel bothered by, you feel maybe has intruded on your energy a bit, or you feel challenged, conflicted, you know, you have those mental arguments with people. Cut the cords and then ask, what can I do to love myself more around this? And you'll get the guidance. It will drop in. It will, it will show up. Hi, Chris. 
lovely to see you. And this is the outcome card. And I love this one. It's Archangel Uriel. I've been thinking a lot about Uriel recently. We might have to do a workshop on him. So this is the sun. So you can see here how the fellow, he's, he's sort of overworking. He's, he's got his... He's on the edge, he's juggling too many things, and Archangel Ariel saying, come back in, come back in. Now, there's only one reason that we juggle, right? We, we're trying to do too many things. We're trying to get ahead, trying to please people, or trying to, our mind, our ego is in charge and telling us to, to, to overwork. And then we come to this one, and Uriel is on the white unicorn, galloping through the open gates. The sun is behind, there's sunflowers. It's all about happiness, joy, and flow. So it's like the gates will open when you do this. There's an energy of, of flow coming in, but they're asking you to remove your own resistance, really. Now, there's a strong element here about focusing on your mind. You know, what have you been thinking? What have you been radiating out into the universe that you really don't want to attract any more of? You know, is it your past? Is it small thoughts about yourself that aren't very loving? Is it, is it fears about what the future is going to bring? And the angels are saying mindset is everything. It's absolutely everything. So before you even you go any further this week, ask yourself, do I want to create that? You know, you notice you're thinking something unhappy. You're feeling miserable. You're feeling down. You're worried. You're angry. Ask yourself, do I want to create this or recreate this? And then change that thought. What do you actually want to create? And this is important. This, if anything, is the strongest guidance this week. There are some chords to be cut, definitely. So never underestimate the, um, that when you get overly entangled energetically, with negative situations or negative people, that sometimes that toxic energy that's wrapped up in that situation, no matter how old it is, it, it can seep in and change your thoughts. It can, it can make you think on a low frequency level. So when you cut those cords, you free yourself of that, of those thoughts. You free yourself of those, of that heavy energy. You're no longer attached to it. So you can be you can be free and you can make new decisions and, and move forward. So what kind of thoughts do you need to change? And what do you want to create instead? And it is that easy. It, it sounds complex, but it really isn't. It's that easy. You know, sometimes we need those negative thoughts for us to, to reveal to us. You know, it's like cleaning out the back of your fridge. I love an analogy if you've known me a long time. <laughs> You clean out the back of your fridge and you're like, oh my God, there's some science experiments. That's me, by the way. There's a couple of science experiments in there. There's a couple of moldy carrots. There's, there's a yogurt that probably should have been thrown away two months ago. And you're like, oh, thank God I, I had a look and cleaned it out. And then you clean your fridge and it's all sparkling and clean. And you no longer got that toxic energy lurking in your, in your place where you store your food. It's the same with your thoughts. You have a, a bad day or you have some negative stuff come up and then you can say, oh, it's just like the moldy stuff at the back of the fridge. It's showing me what needs to be thrown out. Now, do I want that living in my energy? Do I want moldy stuff in my head? No, I need fresh new energy. So you clear it, cut the cords to it, breathe it out, ask the guardian angels and Archangel Michael to lift it away. Send it to the light to be transmuted. Ask your to think the thoughts of the divine. That's one of my favorite prayers. Align my mind with the divine mind. Align my will with divine will. Help me to think the thoughts of God. And angels, please cut my cords for anything that is dragging down my energy. And then as you clear that, you can, you can choose what is going to go in there. I love and accept myself. I am powerful. I'm successful, I'm healthy, I'm vibrant, I'm full of energy, I'm surrounded by supportive, loving people. My angels are guiding me every step of the way. This is a compassionate universe. And you start to focus on loving thoughts instead of the moldy old cruddy thoughts. <laughs> so hands up if you've got any old 
moldy stuff lurking in your mind. Hi Nicola, welcome. Thank you for being here. So that's our reading for the week and I really love it. Now two major arcana cards, which I explained to you last week, Martin, when you get the major arcana, they are, they're the purple ones in this deck. That's when the angels are putting big, you know, highlight, bold type. These are strong messages. These are about life changing things, things that will actually alter your life. These two, they're strong and they're powerful, but they're showing you the current situation. They're saying you need to be more grateful, which sounds like, you know, your parents telling you to be grateful, but it's, it's actually a magical thing to be grateful. We know this. The more gratitude you show, the more you attract more to be grateful for. It's amazing. And it also completely changes your energy because when you realize how much you already have and already have been given, and we really need very little, honestly, to be happy, then you attract more. You attract the very things that you've been wanting for a long time. And this is a warning about being out of balance and just not pushing, not forcing, not overworking, just focusing on your main priorities. I love it. Old moldy <laughs> self-love. <laughs> you need to upgrade your, your self-love back. Okay, so, Teresa, I asked the angels for insight into relation to what I shared and you have provided it. You're welcome. I'm so glad. I always say this, that, you know, I don't particularly take notes beforehand. I, I just set my intention and I come online and I, the angels speak through me. And so you will receive a message that is, it sounds like a general message, but the the essence of it will be for you. There will be parts of it or all of it will be meaningful because that's the way the angels work. They're not just working with me. They're working with you as well. So I'm going to pull somebody a card from the um, angel, Archangel Michael deck. If you, if you would like to ask a question. So I might just pull one for the group. Because we always have a bonus card, don't we? So um, the we're working with the guardian angels and Archangel Michael today, but it does seem like Archangel Uriel showed up as well. Oh, this is one of my favourite cards because it's so deep and it's quite confronting at times, right? But it is really giving us the old mouldy stuff. In, in our face, it's saying, if you've got a situation in your life that doesn't feel good and doesn't feel right, you've, you have to make a decision to change it. You have the power to change it. And the message is, you've created this situation, you have the power to change it. So there's only one way that we, we create situations in our life is through the thoughts, right? And our thoughts are like a train. They chug along, gathering more and more carriages as they go. <laughs> you know, you sort of start thinking about one thing and then you're thinking about another and the next minute you're in the past and then there's another, you know. And you can go on this, you could create a whole world with just one train of thought. So you need to cut cords with a train of thought that has helped to create a situation that is problematic in your life. And ask the angels to guide you as to what, what's at the core of it. You know, is it a lack of authenticity? Are you trying to be someone you're not? Are you trying to please people? Is there a pattern in you where you're, you don't love yourself and you need to now change that? And they will help you with that. They will guide you to it one step at a time. So this says, dear angels, thank you for letting me lean on your strength and reminding me of my personal power. Guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, not my ego, and create peace and blessings for myself and everyone involved. So ask to think the thoughts of the divine. So Dee says, I'd love to ask you if I'm on the right track with sage and sisterhood, is that? Have I got it right, the right way around? Uh, 
I'm going to ask for your business in case I got the name wrong. Way around. Hmm. The romance angels are helping you now. Look at the picture of this card, D. You've got Archangel Michael, and he's 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 walking through the forest, and I know you're very connected to um, the fairies. So it does feel a bit fairyish this this card, even though these are little cupids that are called the romance angels. So he he looks very happy, and the angels are kind of all over him. They're like, listen to us, listen to us. They're really helping, and he's having a little giggle. So any go out for a walk and get a download of ideas. That's what I get from this. But anything that you do with that that. You have a trademark humor that, and you're very funny, and you you love to laugh. You always make me laugh, D. So it feels like you've got to approach SAS with a sense of laughter and joy, and inject more of that into everything that you do, because that's the magic. That's the magic stuff. Sages and sisterhood. I knew it. Yeah, sages and sisterhood. Yeah. So, um relationships hang on i'm seeing some nicola sandu um yeah you're right you know if you don't ask you don't get and that's the angels mottos too it's like lord free will means that you have to ask for their help um a card on relationships for nicola okay thank you archangel michael for bringing through guidance for nicola according uh, to divine will about her relationships what does she most need to know right now okay so i like to work both with the words when i'm on these calls but also with the with the image and in this one you've got it's like the angels are coming to your rescue that's all i can say you've got the the person that's that's down here and then you've got the angel above with the arms and it's like the angels are coming to the rescue it, it's like you need to bring in a new energy for relationships, very much so, but also open your heart and be almost childlike, and I mean this in a sense of being completely open, vulnerable, um, and just allowing yourself to receive. You know, if, if you sort of get your head too involved, it feels like that's not going to work. Now, the message of the card is also about writing, writing down your thoughts and feelings, getting them all sorted, maybe journaling, emptying all of your thoughts out of your head so that you can be open. You might want to write a letter to the angels about what's going on for you and just empty out everything that you maybe would be afraid to say out loud. You might want to just um, keep a journal based you know, on relationships and ask for guidance every day and just write down three pages just to kind of empty off of your heart and mind. Um, this is what this card means, is, is um, write down your thoughts and feelings. It's kind of like you need to clear the wood so that, that some clarity can come to you. But ask your angels for help because they, they want to help you. Are you talking, so thanks Nicola. Um, everyone's talking about relationships today. It must be the love vibe. That is so exciting. So Nicole, what's in store for my relationship? I actually think I'm going to go to the other deck. I just have to remember what these cards are before I lose them. So um, Nicole. So Remember that angel readings are prescriptive, not predictive. So we don't talk about um, too much about the future because because the angels will give you guidance according to what your what your wishes are, right? So if you say, okay, I want a relationship, the angels will guide you. If you don't ask for that, they won't guide you to it because we have to ask for the help for for one, and we also has to have to ask for their guidance. So never feel like you're a helpless passenger that is, you just kind of, this is going to happen and that's going to happen and you've got nothing to do with it because that is not true. You have all the power. <laughs> I like this card. This is the Queen of Gabrielle, Nicole. So you can see with this queen, she's sitting on her throne. She's very relaxed. She's thinking about what she's going to manifest next. 
she's got the cat at her feet so it's a very magical being it's kind of like you can do you can manifest what you need you can go after what you want it's almost like there is a bit of um like usually i'd say she's so relaxed she knows she can manifest but sometimes i wonder with this card today is if you're just waiting and passive and you need to actually put out for what you want and and start to to kind of co-create what you want if you want more direction if you want something that you want marriage you want you know more commitment is what i'm saying or you want you need to ask for it and you have the power within you to create it there's definitely a lot of kind of it's like you're gorgeous you're you've got all the right energy you've got everything you need you don't need to be worried about lack or scarcity in your relationships you just need to maybe speak up more and Gabrielle is very much about speaking your truth asking for what you want thanks Nicole D that made sense for you yeah so remember angel readings are prescriptive prescript they give you a prescription they give you guidance they tell you what to do to have what you want so if we say will this happen they will say what do you want to happen now Cheryl are you asking about love or are you asking about family I'll just ask relationships then Cheryl guidance for relationships Archangel Jeremiah, new beginnings, Cheryl. Now, when this card comes up, you, I got a wave of big energy with this one. It's like everything is is coming up for review for you. And it's like, which is a good thing, but it can feel kind of a bit massive and exhausting. So it's like you're at you're at the metaphoric crossroads um, with relationships and with other things as well. So you get to decide, okay, what am I taking forward into the next phase of my life? And what am I, what do I need to leave behind? So there is a new beginning coming where there's fresh new energy coming in. That's going to be, especially if you work on this, on, on bringing sort of a lightness, like you're leaving a lot of baggage behind a lot of burdensome situations, thoughts, feelings, that you 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 can now afford to move forward but you do need to release and forgive the past so this is a really massive card it's a it's a hard one to sort of to drill down on it's saying you've got a new beginning but you do need to do some healing and forgiveness and releasing because forgiveness is just detox of your emotions right you know that it's not like oh i forgive you and you know everything's okay sometimes it is that too but sometimes it's just moving on, letting go of, of what has hurt you in the past and saying, I forgive you, I understand the lesson and the blessing and I let everything else go. So starting a new life. Oh, a new man you met. <laughs> there you go. So don't bring the past into it. Don't bring the past into it. Um, Nat, will my relationship with my daughters improve? So, Nat, think about asking the angels for guidance about how to improve your relationship with your with your daughters, because it will improve. But there is definitely some some guidance there for you. So make that you know you know when we create a vision board, we put the things on the vision board that we want, you know, good health, happy relationships, love, harmony with family, abundance. And you put all of those things on the vision board. And, you know, we don't just kind of wait for them to happen. We have to put energy into it and we have to listen to the guidance of like, okay, you can create that dream house, but you need to do A, B and C. And that's how the angels work with us, which is what makes them such amazing guides. So it's the same for anything that we're asking about. There's no will I 
It's about you deciding that there will and then asking for the guidance. So let's ask for guidance for Nat to have an um, improved, happy, peaceful relationship with her daughters. <sighs> okay. So straight away, I felt an energy in my heart. So obviously, there's a lot of heartache and heartbreak around this situation, and and um, it must be hard for you, of course. But the angels are saying that um, that that's where you need to start is to do the self love and to do some healing and to do some clearing and cleansing, so that you can release the old hurts and the the um, you know I was talking before about how the thoughts are like a train and you can follow that train back it maybe there's some old resentments and there's some old pain and there's some old stuff that just needs to be released because you need to have your heart open and I'm not saying you're, you're a closed hearted person because we all do this sometimes when we've been hurt we get defensive we guard our heart because we're afraid of being hurt even more and that doesn't necessarily change us on the outside but people can feel it they can sense it so keep your heart open, do that healing work on yourself and keep that crystal clear intention. Now this one is the four of Michael and it's saying you need relief from stress, you need time out, you need to rest. It shows the little person going to sleep in the, in the, in the forest. And it's like just doing that for yourself is going to take a whole lot of stress off of your shoulders and that's your first step, step one. All right. I'll just do one more. Definitely the theme. Hey Cheryl, relationships. Congratulations on meeting your new man. <laughs> Exciting. So, you know, clean up as much as possible. Tarika. So, what's your question? Okay, for Gabrielle, this one is about celebration. This one is about, um, you know, there's the house in the distance and the couple are dancing and they're celebrating their love and they're celebrating all the good things in their life. And it's like being, being um, in a state of joy about what is coming instead of kind of in a state of stress and worry about how it's all going to figure out. So this is lovely. It's just kind of saying, well, it's yours. It's yours. It's coming. Okay. So that's all I'm doing today. Um, I'm afraid. I, 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 come back next week if you have a question. It's every Monday at 11 a.m. Sydney, Australia time. Um, or you can book a private reading with me and have half hour or one hour of, of guidance from the angels. It's um, over on my website, rachelscottot.com. Now, if you're... Um, interested in doing some manifesting and to really understand how to clear the blocks that are holding you back from prosperity, abundance and success, then please come to my next workshop. It's very low cost. It's a one-off 90 minute class, which is Abundance Creation with Archangel Ariel. Now, of course, we'll be working with Archangel Michael as well. There'll be a guided meditation and healing where I'll be helping you release the emotional and mental and energetic blocks that you have to manifesting those those things that you want the dream house the 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 flow of abundance into your business or your that new career so that you can be more open so there'll be guidance there'll be a guided meditation and energy clearing and if you've ever been to one of my events you know how powerful those are and there'll be some I'll be working with you on common ways that people clear um, block themselves from receiving money and helping you to have guidance as to what you can do to change that to shift your mindset shift your energy and create more abundance in your life it's 47 australian dollars which is about 35 us and it's on friday the 23rd of july um 10 a.m until 12 30 a.m and you also get the replay as well um, once you've purchased that ticket. So whether you can come live or not, it's probably my most powerful class yet. We usually get around 80 people for each class. 
this time it's it's going way way above that because this is what everyone's been asking for for ages is a money manifesting workshop so um i'll be teaching you all the things that i did to create success and, and abundance in my own life as well from being completely broke um 17 years ago so thank you all so much for being here and don't forget that angel guidance for this week have a beautiful week and don't forget to love yourself right angel blessings